the first casual Friday of my life. So I talked to a surfer. Well, here I am with a surfer, Laird Hamilton. When you're surfing, what do you do with your wallet? Uh, I don't have one. I guess you can't get pulled over surfing. Yeah, you can. Oh, really? Yeah. Usually he's a large, dark fellow that wants to smash your face. I have to tell you something pretty shocking. Are you sitting? I am. I've never surfed. But you can. Maybe you surf in another way. Maybe you surf through your life in a different way. <clears throat> That's kind of deep. That's where I go. Just when you don't think that surfers are going to be like really deep, they just, you know, they really... Surprise you? Surprise you, shocking. Surfers always look so happy. Does that frequently offend people? Yeah. And the fact that we're at the beach with girls in bikinis and uh, we don't have to wear many clothes, that offends I people mean, too. <laughs> this is, I'm learning a lot here. Despite being a surfer, you can see that Laird is probably smarter than 80% of all Americans, which makes him smarter than 110% of everyone in the world. I like when surfers come out of the water and they're going like this. Oh yeah, shaking their ears out, trying to get the water out yeah. of their head. It's an ear opening experience. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel at all awkward when you're on land? I feel awkward with humans. That's kind of sad. Actually, it's okay. At least I know where I can go where I don't feel awkward. <laughs> right, right. Some people feel awkward and don't know where they can be to feel unawkward. Suddenly, in the middle of the interview, I didn't feel like talking about surfing anymore. What's the advantage of the sawed-off shotgun as opposed to the regular? It's just good for close range. Can you buy it sawed-off or do you have to do that yourself? Oh, I think you can purchase them sawed-off. Mm. I guess we should get back to surfing. How long could you hold your breath? So far, long enough. Have you found any other uses for that skill? Well, my wife likes it. You were chosen as one of People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People. After that happened, did you tend to walk around and look at strangers and go, you know, he's kind of more beautiful than this? <sighs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm in Malibu. It's where they all live. <laughs> Maybe that prize was kind of like for an inner beauty. We don't, really, we don't really award inner beauty uh, prizes in our society. That would be a good prize. Wouldn't it? We could start that. That'd be great. The inner beauty prize, who would get that? They wouldn't be very attractive, whoever they were. Have you ever had a job interview in your life? I don't know if I have or not, I can't remember. <laughs> I just thought it was I've had a new member maybe right now. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> Ooh, that's cheating. No. <laughs> that is just such... What do you mean? <laughs> you know, Laird, just because Socrates said it doesn't mean it's true. All right.